Hello, my fellow teabags. Cinerex77 coming at you today from my YouTube channel. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, got a quick knife review for y'all today. Plus, I'm going to show y'all something that I picked up yesterday that I'm going to start getting into a lot more now. Ha <laughs> ha. Everybody knows what this is. It's 550 cord. Uh, got the, the toxic green and the black. Yes, toxic green and black. My son picked out the toxic green. He called it the uh, green rope. Uh, I've already made a couple of things. One I can't show y'all because unfortunately it's not here. The other thing I can show y'all because it is here. And this is it. This is of course is a uh, King Cobra bracelet. Uh, it looks funky because it's my first one. Made it for my son. He loves it. Daddy made him something, and uh, it took me uh, two suckers, a popsicle, and about two hours worth of uh, Diego to get this off his wrist so I could show y'all. So, there we go. And I'll let y'all know, I hate Diego with a passion. I just hate Diego. But, yeah, it's my son's bracelet. He loves it. I made the uh, Mrs. A Mummy lanyard. Also, you know, using the uh, both colors. I'm going to make myself my own bracelet later. But, you know, let's get on to the review. Y'all let me know for a first time how much this sucks or how well it looks, what have you. Brutal honesty is what I'm asking for. Thank you very much. All right. Now, to the knife. Uh, today's knife is going to be my first Bali review, I do believe. Uh, let's go ahead and go over some things real quick. For starters, this is a clone of a custom Bali. Do not know the name of the uh, maker or the name of the Bali. The name of this Bali, however, has been dubbed the Raptor Claw. It's what I found it at least at four different sites. Um, so that's what I'm calling it, the Raptor Claw. Uh, real quick. As y'all notice, it has some really nice jimping uh, done to look like gears, or you know, the teeth for gears. Rosewood scales, very nice. Uh, I actually notched mine, so that way I have a better grip on them. My boy Exacto has the exact same blade. He actually took his scales off and did, you know, the whole grip tape thing, which looks nice. He, uh, however. You know, that's all the mods he did. I notched my scales, left them on there because I like the uh, the girth, you know, the amount of purchase that they provide. And also, uh, when I got this, it had uh, a built-in guard that basically came out like so, came down to points. I didn't like the way those looked, so they got hacked off. Now, uh, my boy Exacto also pointed out that uh, on this particular Bali, and I actually have another one here for comparison. Now, as you'll see, here, I'll even have them facing the same way so y'all can see. Now, on this one, your latch is on the bite handle, which is the way it's supposed to be. This one, it's on the safe handle. So, if you're sitting here and you're playing with two at once, just, you know, keep a conscious mind about, you know, your latches on the safe handle and not the bite handle. Now, I know y'all want to see this thing open and see what it looks like and all that good jazz. So, I'm going to attempt on camera, one-handed, through the yield viewfinder, uh, half the tricks I know in basically one movement if I can. Uh, if I cannot, I'll probably wind up horribly scarring myself and the YouTube community. Okay, let's see if I can do this, y'all. One-handed through the viewfinder. There we go. Yeah. Woohoo. Um, as y'all can see, really nice uh, recurve, uh, Hawkbill-esque. Okay. Now, uh, I do have the beginnings of the edge of sand put on this one. Uh, I already got my 20 degree 
bevel on there and I'm going to start smoothing and polishing that later what it looks like open uh, grand total I uh, overall length is nine and a half inches five and a half inch handle it's uh, one and a quarter inch wide at the widest spot which is very nice lots of purchase lots of grip uh, like I said rosewood scales uh, you have a four inch long blade with a four and a quarter inch long uh, excuse me a three and three quarter inch long uh, cutting edge uh, which leaves you a nice nice bit of cutting surface you know it's beautiful um, and that's about that y'all uh, it has nylon washers and it the blade is made from 3 sixteenths uh, inch stock blade still has the exact same characteristics and I do mean the exact same characteristics as uh, Bucks 440C which is pretty cool pretty awesome um, now it's a real heavy flipper as a matter of fact it's the heaviest flipper I own he's actually pointed that out uh, he said that's one of the reasons why he took the uh, scale the rosewood scales off of his cool I actually like the extra weight uh, feels fine to me I love the girth of the handles all the mods that I would like to have done due to this blade I've done to them so there we go and this knife does not vary at all from its uh, price of uh, 15 to 20 bucks it really doesn't it stays within that five dollar margin all the time uh, so that's that now I'm gonna go over quick my quick philosophy about butterflies or bollies however you want to call them <coughs> excuse me first of all I do believe that they are one of the safest knives to carry um, Especially with the spring latch or the cam latch like uh, the FE42 has or, you know, spring latches like Bradley and um, Spider Co. and, you know, the infamous Benchmade. So, you know, that's cool. When you have a decent latch and this sideways T latch like this, it's actually pretty decent. I do believe that these are one of the safest knives to carry because uh, the simple fact is that your blade is completely encapsulated by the handle. It's not going anywhere. It's not coming out. It's not going to accidentally pop out. Nothing like that. And the other thing that I like about a Bali, now I'm not sure how many people would agree with me about this, is the fact that once it's open and once again this also depends on your latching system once it's open and locked y'all have a really decent fixed blade to work with uh, and I really like that the blades not moving as uh, and that also depends on how well your stop pins are done how well the heat treatment is and all that uh, the ones in this one are really nice I've had no pinching you know no mushering, no nothing like that. So, I really, really like that. But yeah, it's one of those things. Uh, see, no, nah, I'm not going to try with my right hand. I'm not a right handed person, y'all. But yeah, uh, it's just one of those things, man. Now, for those of y'all who want a heavy uh, flipper, I suggest you get this one. It's really inexpensive if you can still find it, and you probably still can. Uh, it's ex it's got excellent uh, excuse me excellent uh, build to it. Uh, the materials are not that cheap. Uh, you have you know the uh, double handle scale, so to speak. The handles are are four pieces of steel each which gives it very good rigidity awesome blade y'all I suggest y'all check it out thank y'all very much for watching please uh, comment and subscribe if you have not 
Hope this has been, you know, entertaining as well as educational. Um, keep your finger on the troll. Thank you very much. Have a nice day, y'all. Bye.